Hello everyone, I'm really excited to share with you my polish pickup package. I just received it in the mail yesterday. I didn't really have time to film, so I figured I would get this up really quick for you guys. These polishes are gorgeous. The theme for October was villains, so let's check out the polishes. Okay, the first polish I want to share with you is by Ethereal Lacquer, and this is called Avida Cadavera. Cadavera? This, ooh, look at the shimmer in there. Ooh, you can see it. All right, the first polish I want to share with you is by Ethereal Lacquer, and this is called Avida Cadabra. This is a very pretty polish. I believe it was inspired by Voltimore from He Who Shall Not Be Named, and I think that's a Harry Potter reference. Uh, leave down below in the comments if it is or not. I don't really know. If you know what this is in reference to, I don't know. I w wasn't able to find it on the Polish Pickup Facebook page. So uh, I even went back way back in the feed to see if I could find descriptions of this. The Polish Pickup Pack Facebook page describes this as a stunning polish that has a bone chilling blue leaning charcoal base with contrasting red multi-chrome shimmer that shifts to green to gold in some angles. The shimmer in this polish is amazing. Look at that. You can see that in the bottle here. This is beautiful, gorgeous polish. The next polish I want to share with you is this one by Lollipop Posey and this is Your Name Belongs to Me. Um, I'm not really sure this, like the other polish, or like that ethereal polish, is one that I didn't happen to grab a screenshot of when it was first showed up on the polish pickup pack. So I don't really know for sure what was the inspiration for this polish. But this, much like that ethereal polish, has gorgeous shimmer in it. I mean, this is just beautiful. Okay, the polish pickup pack describes this polish as very simple, just a, it's a navy polish full of Aurora shimmer. That was all the description said on the Polish Pickup fan page that I looked up. I'm sure if I actually would have scrolled down a little, a lot farther, then I would have been able to find a more uh, detailed description. But, oh my God, look at that. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. The third polish I want to share with you is by Kathleen & Co. And this is called Shapeshifter. This polish is so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful cobalt blue with gold magnetic. And there is also red micro glitter and red uh, micro flakies. This polish's gold magnetic particles in here are just gorgeous against that dark blue. Oh my gosh. This polish is so pretty. Even if you choose not to use the magnet on this polish, it is still very beautiful and you get to pick up a lot more of that uh, red micro glitter in there. Ugh, yeah, this polish, yet again, another gorgeous polish. The next two polishes I have to share with you are my favorite type of gray Crelly. Anything in it, gray, white Crelly. I am down. So I'm going to start off with Scofla here. It is called Love Letters to Miranda Priestley and this was inspired by The Devil Wears Prada. This is described as a classy soft gray jam-packed with various flakies of silver and gunmetal. There is also an iridescent purple micro glitter and shifting shimmers of violet and lavender. This polish is exactly what I want for a fall gray polish. It just makes me feel nice and warm and gorgeous and the little extra bits of flakies that are in this just put it over the top. This is gorgeous. The final polish I wanted to share with you is by Bohemian Polish. This is called Wet My Beak. This was inspired by God, The Godfather 2. I haven't seen any of The Godfathers. This polish is described as a beautiful white Crelly with orange to gold UCC flakies. This polish, in my opinion, is a perfect 
fall polish. Those uh, flakies in there that go from gold to uh, orange are just great. They remind me of the leaves when they're changing in the fall time. This is an excellent polish. I loved it. The final item that I purchased from October's Polish Pickup wasn't a polish. This is a emulsified sugar scrub by Stella Chroma. Um, I do not see a name that says what this is. It says on the back here, put some water on it. So I'm not sure if that is the name to the clue that what this is inspired by or what even flavor this is. Um, when I open it up here, and smell it not to be weird but this reminds me of glue glue with like a little bit of sweetness to it kind of pumpkin-y I'm not really sure I don't know I'm probably smelling like completely wrong but I just thought this would be really cool it feels really gritty so I hope it works really well and I hope it makes my hands smell this way not like I said not to be weird but it smells a little bit like glue to me. Those were the items that I purchased last month from the Polish Pickup. Let me know down below if you guys purchased any of these polishes. If so, what do you think of them? Um, I'm really loving this uh, Kathleen & Co. Magnetics. I think they're gorgeous. Last month I purchased her Colors of the Wind polish from uh, Musicals and it was the uh, Pocahontas polish. That is gorgeous. This one not far behind it. Very beautiful. I love the magnetic thing. Anybody know if um, magnetics, if the magnetic particles in polishes kind of dies out like thermals do and that kind of stuff? I'm just kind of wondering if it's always going to be magnetic or if it's not. I like both the polishes plain, so if I don't use the magnet, but I'm just wondering, does anybody know if they just kind of all of a sudden stop working or kind of die out? Let me know down below. I kind of skimmed through the Facebook polish pickup pack and I'm not really seeing a lot of polishes for the month of November that are really grabbing me. November's theme is badass women and I've just kind of looked through a little bit and I don't really see anything that is like grabbing my attention. In the past two months, September and October's polishes that were posted on there were just amazing. I just knew instantly when it went live that those are polishes that I was going to be purchasing. And for the month of November, I'm not really getting that vibe. So I'm really not sure, but maybe when it gets closer to going live, um, maybe there'll be more polishes on there that will kind of jump out at me. Leave down below if you guys have any suggestions for polishes for next month that I should maybe check out. Yeah, like I said, I just don't really have any that are jumping out and grabbing my attention. So so I guess we'll see. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave any comments or suggestions below and I will see you in the next one.